Hey, this is Luke here with Foxcapes. We just finished up this project for a client out in Rockford, Michigan. This is a cool project. I'm excited to take you through a walkthrough. Uh, it's held down by natural stone retaining walls and seat wall, lower and upper patio with some walkways in between, and this fire feature right here. We got some landscaping on here as well. So let's go ahead and take you through it. First thing I want to talk about is this lower living space down here. Now the client's got a beautiful property. They got the Rogue River there in the backdrop. They got this seat wall right here that looks at the fire pit and the Rogue River. During the design phase, the client wanted to be able to see both at the same time. So as we were working with the elevation and this retaining wall had to be here, we figured why not just curve it around so you can sit back here, look at the fire in this like castle rune type fire feature and look at the river at the same time. Now this, you know, this patio down here is about 15 foot in diameter. It's got enough room to house about 10 people down here, sit pe about six people on the wall, which is nice, cool, like, double feature that's a retaining wall but also serves as a seat wall at the same time and then this fire pit this is made out of unilock brussels block client showed me a picture during the design phase they want it to look like a castle rune type of look they're going for on their house they want it to be like a castle theme so it looks like this is almost just like an old you know like um like a bomb went off inside the fire pit and this is what you got left so here we are in the middle of the landscape you can see right in front of you we got the philips hue landscape lighting system really cool system you can control it from your phone adjust the colors of the landscape lights and make different presets in the landscape. You can see we've got three retaining walls, one, two, three, this one being the largest, about five foot in height. We have about eight foot total elevation difference between the lower patio and the upper patio. We got a couple of cool plantings, Japanese maple, ajuga, Japanese painted fern, some flocks, which are eventually going to creep over the rocks. So we've got full seasonal interest and we want like a full landscape. We want to see stuff start to creep over the rocks over time is what we're going for. Back behind me, over here, we got boulders throughout the landscape. So as we go ahead and put a couple outlets in the landscape, we've got this artificial rock down here covering up the outlet. You're like you don't even know what's there. So when I first came here in about March, this was all a large, steep slope. And even when I came here with the crew to start, we knew we had to cut roads into the hillside to work at the bottom and eventually work our way out of here. This had to become flat so we can get machinery and materials down here. So now as a finished product, we got still a flat space. You can kind of see the road they use, which is great because this is usable space now. Before the client had to mow it on a really steep angle, now it's flat and easy to mow. Um, to make this flat road, we had to make a steeper slope than before right here, which serves great as a landscape right in here because you don't have to mow this. And it, um, it takes that, it gives you that ease of mind that you don't have to be in danger when you're mowing anymore. And it's a nice piece to look at. We got a wisteria tree. We got landscape lighting, lily turf, and some other beautiful shade perennials up in here. So here we are at the top on the upper patio in the landscape. This patio connects all three exit doors, which have custom cut natural stone steps to work your way out and to provide flow in the landscape. The steps match the walls and they match the other existing steps on the way down. So this patio connects the house and kind of swoops out into this circle right behind me, kind of brings us out here to the lower landscape. Um, in this, we have this natural stone kind of raised garden bed where you can come sit and be shaded by a limelight hydrangea tree. And then we have a few more um, plantings around the patio as well. So there's plenty of room to sit. This is almost an 800 square foot patio up top here. And it really is a good starting point for the rest of the landscape. Thanks for joining us for this walkthrough in this landscape here. Anytime we get to work with a large elevation change, it just opens the door for so many opportunities. We enjoyed being the contractor on this project, enjoyed bringing the client's vision to life. As you see here, natural stone walls, always a good option, natural stone steps, some walkways, and this fire feature. So looking forward to showing you guys some more work.